It's the National Association of Watch and Clock Collectors, Chapter 140, Kentucky Thoroughbreds. Fantastic. So glad they're here. They got a Lexington regional office, and they're here with us today. Are you with this organization? Can we talk to you live on the air? Certainly. Yeah, great. Hi, what's your name? Frank Webster. Hey, Frank. Um, how did you get into clocks? Well, uh, I put the tick back in a clock the first time when I was 13. 13 years old? Yeah. Wow. And my grandfather <laughs> could fix anything, and a guy came in with a broken clock, and he said, oh, the boy can fix that. Oh. So that's where I started, but... Um, I've been with the uh, local chapter of the NAWCC, Chapter 35, uh, for about 15 years now. Is that right? And uh, actually was part of the team that did the restoration of the tower clock at the LNM train station. Oh, yeah. It's in Courier Journal last week. Oh, did I a saw story that, on. actually. Yeah. yeah it was, uh, it's up that was running very, again after many, what, decades? Yeah. It was uh, originally made by E. Howard Clock Company, and in 1917, it was put into the... Uh, train station. Uh, the original clock was a Seth Thomas, but the fire destroyed it. Okay. So then this was the replacement. And we found it in a, a closet. <laughs> and when I saw it, it was like, wait a minute, this is a tower clock. We got a project. Yeah. And so, yeah, but we've worked on a lot of uh, uh, public clocks here in Louisville. Um, and Have you ever been up in our clock tower here at the University of Louisville? I am actually the only uh, approved horologist on the supplier list no for U of L. Yeah. <laughs> That's I've so done, cool. Um, tall clocks in the chancellor's office and uh, one in the health office outside uh, over by Fantastic. the baseball stadium. Yeah. Wow. Now, but when you got started at 13, I wanted to ask, is this an activity that's best for people with small fingers? No. No. <laughs> no. The dexterity it's, doesn't matter? No. In fact, <laughs> you need people, the right tools, people have asked, oh, my hands aren't steady enough. Yeah. But when you're working on a bench, you're leaning on it with your forearms, so you're really only moving your fingers. So, yes, you can do a watch. In fact, okay. what time is it? I don't have one of those kinds of watches. I'm, look I, at you. I usually only wear... <laughs> I usually only wear one. You've but got four watches on, my friends. Two on each wrist. But and, oh, how many in your pocket? Oh, my goodness. Four. <laughs> this, this is the watch I've been showing off today. It's an Accutron. Ooh. This is your hearing test. Oh, I have terrible hearing. Okay. It doesn't, it doesn't tick. It runs on a tuning fork. So it's a, it's a high pitch. Oh, I'm never going to hear that. <laughs> so, so but yeah. But that's what it is. So it's good. Yeah. Wow. And we. We just show off things to people. So, you know, if you find them at your garage sales, you find them at yard sales, estate sales and stuff, and you go, hey, this is a really cool little thing. There is a group of people here in town that would love to mentor and help you learn to clean it, restore it, put it onto your wrist, so wear it, cool. and show it off. 1960s Timex. Wow. John Cameron Swayze. Wow. It takes a licking. It keeps He's on, on ticking. That's it. So, <laughs> But yeah, and Brian, we're, Brian, we're, can you verify it for us that all of his watches are set to the same time? <laughs> oh, um, it you, like it. it's looking. Yeah, it's good looking job. pretty good. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. I mean, no, I think I that was a you. that was an easy one. <laughs> <laughs> but even if they weren't working, they'd be right twice a day, right? That's what that's, they that's what they say. That's what they say. And and if your clock's not working, then it's just a piece of furniture. A lovely piece. But yeah. yeah. But and we help people learn the history. Because if you can tell a story about it, that's the provenance, and that's right. what makes your kids say, no, I want the clock. Right. Or, hey, nobody wants my clocks. <laughs> no, yes, we do, because we got this great story to tell about them. Right. There's a oh. history there. There's yeah. a, there may be ghosts in your clock, for that, all we know. That's right. <laughs> Exercise your clock. Right. That's it. How can people get a hold of you? Um, we are... Um, if they go to nawcc.org, and there's a tab that says uh, locate a chapter. Okay. There's actually three chapters here in Kentucky. No. Three in Kentucky alone? Yeah. There's one down near Bowling Green. There's one in Lexington. And the one here in Louisville is Chapter 35. And we're planning a Clocktoberfest. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. So, yeah. So make sure. All right. Look for Clocktoberfest then. Thanks yeah. for being here at the Louisville Maker Fair. Hey, and we're here because when you're certified, you're a clock maker or a watch maker. You're not a clock fixer. Oh, yeah. 
so we can fit in here at the Makers That's Fair. Right. Time That's right. That's the right. Maker. But thanks so much for talking to us today. Very cool. Have a Love your way. display. It's a great one. And you can hear the ticking. I don't know. Did we get the ticking? Is there a good one that ticks?